I don't know about you, but once that ground thaws and you are ready to start planting, you might want to get this ahead of time. This is our electric mini tiller from Earthwise. It is going to help aerate the soil, loosen things up, whether you fertilize before you plant, that's up to you. But this is definitely a great first step and a big customer pick. You might want to read some reviews. We're going to do that right after these words. Best in Beauty Week is back with colorful new ideas and straight up favorites. The latest from brands you'll only find here and exclusives from favorites you love. Health Benefit, Elizabeth Arden, Smashbox, Virtue, Lorac, and many more. Come back every day for a limited time steal up to 50% off and get four flex pay on all beauty all week long. Best in Beauty Week only on HSN and HSN.com. Get inspired to cook simple, elegant meals at home with a brand new collection of kitchen tools. Designed, tested, and proven from the experts at Food & Wine. Don't miss Food & Wine, only on HSN. electric mini tiller in action with four angled steel tines this is going to help loosen the soil and make planting so much easier or dirt removal so much easier than can you imagine doing this with a hand tool and it's going to cut a path about 11 inches wide and up to eight inches deep so you get the power of a gas tiller without the mess the cost or the fumes Plus, there's no back-wrenching pull starts or loud operation. Peter Kilcullen, welcome. Thanks so much. Good to see you, Callie. You too. Wasn't that great? I mean, I love seeing that close-up shot when you see this thing doing what really could be considered the most difficult part of your garden. No question. Right? Or this is, maybe that's the reason you don't have that huge garden, because it's just so difficult. Look at this. Even those raised garden beds, you can just lift this up, put it in there. It's going to do all the things. Let's make a list of all the things you hate about gardening. <laughs> right? Weeding. Weeding might be yep. number one. Good this point. is going to help with that. It's going to chew up all those weeds and just mulch them into that soil for you. The second thing is, well, I've got to break up that ground as well so I can easily plant those plants and at the same time aerating. Those are difficult jobs. We've given you some of the other options next to you. Kelly. Oh we yeah! We got a pitchfork. Let's do that. You know, the hoe, the, the oh, metal yeah. kind of rake. Fun. I mean, these I are really these difficult. Days. Right. I mean, imagine doing that on a huge area, oh. and then so you're digging those individual holes to put those plants in. This little guy with all this power is going to do all of that for you. You know what? This reminds me because I grew up in North Dakota on a farm with my grandparents in the summer. Awesome. And I am one with the soil. I love the smell of soil, especially when it's been freshly tilled like this. My grandpa used to take the tractor out with the. Right. What do you call that thing that lifted all the dirt so that once he placed the seeds, the dirt was ready to just like receive it. Exactly. So you can do all of that on a smaller scale than the big farm in North <laughs> yeah. Dakota. But that's what's great about this. It is on a smaller scale. It's light. It's easy to control. All you do is add your extension cord. But now one of the other, you know, most frustrating things about gardening is when you spend all that backbreaking time and effort to weed and to dig the soil and to get down in there and turn it and aerate it, plant, and then what happens? Right. You don't have the results. <laughs> what if this can help you even get better results? Because now that soil is going to be perfectly prepared. Not to mention you can improve the soil with peat moss. You can exactly. add all your fertilizer and combine add that. Add your spray and grow so, to the soil. Right. So if I move this back up front here, I already did that spot, but I, Kelly, I wanted you to try it again. Okay. So all we've done here is add that extension cord and what's great about this is that 11 inch wide path it'll go down a total of eight inches so plenty deep for planting here see when you squeeze that bale on yeah. you see that nothing, nothing happens. Nothing happened because... Right so we've got the safety switch here so we're gonna put we're gonna put this use this hand okay go safety switch then pull that bale on oh, there you yeah, go now you can go back two hands firmly on that and then you wow. just start 
moving slowly backward. Oh, Listen, that. you can move very slow. It's not going to be fighting you. It just makes oh, it so simple and easy. easy. And look at the amount of, like, I see. You're Woo. just letting it go even deeper into the soil. I mean, when I see that, it is amazing how much time. Oh. Now, anytime you let go of that bail That's arm, awesome. it just stops. So, oh my gosh, let this do the hard work for you this year. Right. So look at this. Here's here's the part. So it you can see so you can see that 11 inch wide path, right? So now imagine you're you want to do a, a huge garden. How long would it take you to do row after row? Three no minutes per out. row, no and you can all. break up that soil, whether it's the hard clay soil, or maybe you want to start earlier and the ground is still frozen. So here's the planting process now. There you go. I've spread that, whether it's seeds, or what about the seedlings? I always like to do the vegetables and start from the seedlings. Do you? Get a wow. Little Good jump for start. You. Put those in there. Look at that. You water them. You're set to go. You've aerated the soil. You've done everything you need to do without being on your hands and knees, without the backbreaking work, without just struggling to break up that soil. No kidding. And then you've made sure that you've done it so well that you're going to get great results. I, I find vegetables can be tough to grow, to have that really amazing For vegetable sure. garden. You've got to give them this a fighting is, chance by right. loosening that soil. I mean, it really is the only way to have great results. Exactly. So you're going to be able to do it bigger and better because you know you're not doing that huge vegetable garden because that's too much work. It really is too much work. You can't guarantee your success. I think this is going to be your secret weapon. And most of all, it is extremely easy to use. And you're going to get it home and be like, well, that looks really small. Can that really, you know, does well, that really have enough that's power? A lot of the comments on hsn.com <laughs> speak to that. Those are my that. favorite. They're like, I didn't expect it to have this much power for this price and for this size. Right. It, it's real. You should read some of the reviews. They're right there on hsn.com. It's yeah. a customer pick. And even there was a couple of reviews where people have a lot of experience with the big gas powered types of tillers and they're even saying well I didn't think this could be you know anywhere near as good as those but is it as good as those well it's not as big it's not the gas and the fumes and it's easier to use and more importantly it's really what you need what if you already have some shrubs and plants right. and you just want to plant another, another small row. row behind them Great. 11 inches wide it's perfect you know now, there's free shipping on this yeah, today too that's a $18 savings so that's another benefit to getting and plus there's and in fact there's free shipping on select lawn and garden items on hsn.com you might want to peruse because it's the time where we get to start planting you know what on a flex pay i think you can get this home for around $25 Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. And so it's it'll almost get there in a couple time. Of days. I mean, not everywhere in the country, but it's almost time. This gives you the jump start. I know you want to be the first one in your neighborhood with that beautiful tomato. You can do it. This is going to help. So look at those four tines that spin and have the power to really just turn and cultivate that soil. You're absolutely going to love that. And it is very easy to handle. And I want you to see something else. One of the things, and I'm actually going to move it. I can show you that handle to pick it up. But right here, I want to show you this. We were using it with the wheels down, and I suggest everyone use it with the wheels down just to get your, you know, your experience level up a little bit. But if you want to, if you want to use this and get even deeper down into the soil, oh. we have the ability to lock those wheels up. Now you can take full advantage of going the full eight inches down. It doesn't increase the difficulty by much, but it is amazing. So either way you do it with the wheels up or the wheels down, it is going to give you the results. It's going to prepare that soil. It's going to make the biggest and the best vegetable garden you've ever had a lot more attainable. So it weighs about 23 pounds, so it's right. really manageable, even for us gals. Um, and this isn't something you have to worry about, that pull starter or, you know, the gas. Ooh, that gas just scares me. I just don't want it anywhere in my garage or right, anywhere right. near. This is, you just have your electrical cord, you know, your extension cable, and you will love having this do all the hard work versus the back-breaking work that I used to do as a little girl, you know, trying to loosen the soil, especially having grown up in North Dakota. Can you imagine how cold that soil is? <laughs> I bet. Most of the year it's a little frozen. <laughs> Here what I'm doing is, what about if your soil is not exactly the way you want it? Sometimes in Florida we can have like the extremely sandy soil. Maybe it's clay soil. And here you could add the pea moss, so just improve that with a lot of fertilizer. So now you put that down. Maybe you can add that fertilizer you need for the, the whole season by just mixing it into the soil. So now I'll go back over that area, turn on our tiller and cultivator, and now I'm turning that soil, I'm mixing in all those nutrients, getting that soil ready to make sure that I have those results that I want. Now, you were doing that earlier where you can decide how deep it goes into the soil. And then remember, you can also bring up those wheels if you want. But I mean, you can see the power in there that this is going to do the job to turn the soil. Oh yeah, look at that. And I'm gonna lift that up and you can see those tines right there spinning. You can That's hear really that power. Impressive. It really does a great job. And now, 
I let go of that bail arm and it stops. You know what we need? Water. <laughs> this so, this it's soil a, needs it's moisture. It's a little dusty because we're only tilling in here. We haven't done any planting. Exactly. Right? We do need to water. And I guess we haven't had a lot of rain here either. But I do either. love the smell of soil. Of, I mean, just the, the rich earth. And I am such a fan of, of this doing all the hard work for us. I've got a lower back issue, Peter. I can't be down there anymore. I'm too old for that stuff. Well, I don't know if you're too old for that stuff, but... I'm too old for that stuff. <laughs> no, it really, it just, it becomes, not only does it become difficult, but it takes the fun out of having that great vegetable garden because it is a tremendous amount of work. So whether it's just too much, you know, too labor intensive, or maybe it's just too much time to dedicate to it. But if you have something like this tiller, that's the right amount of power, it really is the right size that you can handle it. If you have I, a call I, us, there's that testimonial line because this is, I mean, seriously, every season, it's a favorite. And it, it this is. is the lowest price, I believe, that we've ever been able to offer. For this oh, that's at. great. So, uh, on, on a flex pay with free shipping, you've got it delivered in a couple of days. Spring starts in less than a week now. It's officially the 21st, I want to say. Perfect. So right around the corner. That's right. This is a great time. And the other thing I like about having something like this, if you're looking around your yard, you're thinking, I don't know where I'm even going to do a garden, but maybe you have that space that seems wasted. It just doesn't, the grass doesn't grow well there, or it just doesn't, it hasn't done anything. And you're just thinking of it as a part you can't use. Even if it's small, like this area we're in, by using that tiller, by improving that soil with nutrients, by, by cultivating that soil, you can turn that into that garden you've always wanted. You're thinking out of as useless space, this is gonna turn that useless space into something great and you're not gonna have to spend uh, you know, a lot of time and energy doing it. Let this be that secret weapon. We're gonna do everything you don't like to do. We're gonna get rid of those weeds. We're gonna loosen up that soil, aerate that soil, prepare it by you know, increasing the nutrients and the fertilizer and then you're gonna plant with just your hand. Dig out a little hole, put your plants in there and you're ready to go. Look at how it can take care of those weeds and not damage those flowers right next to it. it it's got an 11 inch path right. so you can kind of gauge. That's a great point. How to Small just get enough, rid of the, the but weeds. powerful. I just, it's really the yeah, right size. It's the sweet spot. Row after row. Careful. You know, that could have been really funny if I had been <laughs> facing the other direction. Stepping on the rake, that's an old classic. That's an old beauty. The unplanned. But thankfully, I was oh, looking that's away. Hilarious because These it didn't happen. happen. But now <laughs> I'm not going to ever use that rake again because I'm only going to use the tiller. Yeah, I mean, it no, but really you can is. Stand in an upright position while you're No, doing absolutely. This. Even, even this angle sometimes gets my lower back, you know, whether it's e digging or, you know, shoveling. Right, this you can great. use it in both directions. I find that if you're just pulling it back like we've been doing, it makes it easier. And then you can use the wheels to head back over there. You know what I'm going to do? I'll do another path and I want you to see, again, how easily it is to control or how easy it is to control. What I find is if, if you've never used the tiller and you're thinking that you're going to have to really white knuckle this and, and really start to hold on to it, you'll find that there really isn't much to do. I'm just slowly pulling it back. I can move a bit faster if I wanted to. It really depends on how deep you want it to go, how much you want to turn that soil. All you need to do is add your extension cord like all of our Earthwise items. You're not gonna have to worry about gas and fuel. Look how deep we've gone. Yeah. We've, we've done the same area a few times. But actually, I'm gonna move back a little bit and not step on that metal rake. And you can see an area that we haven't done yet. Wow. And look at that. It's really and I will say this. It's not affected by roots and rocks. I mean, there is plenty of power. There really is. And you'll use it, again, we talk about just having that garden. You know, we're talking about this spring, this season. But remember, this is something you're gonna have season after season. Absolutely. So as yeah, you wanna plant that garden, or, or maybe you wanna plant those, those bulbs in the fall, you're gonna be able to use this the same way. You're gonna be able to continue to do those plantings again and again, because it's going to be perfect. It's going to work. I was work. really impressed. You can handle it. I don't know if you could hear this at home, but I heard you go through some roots. I heard a couple rocks so, in there. <laughs> I mean, these are steel tines. This Absolutely. is heavy duty kind of machinery there's rocks and then some in here there's 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 actually there's been nails and screws and building materials from this deck in this ground and I, I you really never notice it and again I'll show you those tines it really is impressive and and that's the thing if you've ever thought about well you know you never get the real power that you need from an electric I mean, that was years ago. Maybe that was true even five or 10 years ago, but not anymore. Earthwise has, has perfected it, that you are getting enough power to get down into that soil and make a difference. So get this home. Maybe you can get the, 
or have the biggest garden, vegetable garden that you've ever had because it's, I mean, think about all the hard work that we are eliminating with this little guy that has the power. The weeding, the digging, the down on your hands and knees, and imagine running around with those those seedlings, plant after plant, and just scooping it out, popping it in. I think that's what it, it is. Like, it's, it's, it's great. the up and the down, it's the up and the down, and the lifting, and the, uh, it gets, it really takes its toll on your body after a while. So right. when you've got something like this, and I remember what it was called with my grandfather, it was the, the cultivator that we'd take out, and he would do this with his whole, all of his fields, and you know, with a big tractor in front of us, but this is the same thing on a smaller scale, like you said, Peter. Um, but if you are just tuning in, treat yourself today. This is the lowest price we've done on this, free shipping. And on a FlexPay, it's $24.99. It comes with a two-year uh, warranty.